Hello everyone. Up next we're going to talk about the schedule of values. A schedule of values is essentially a grid or table of line items that are what make up a contract. Our schedule of values that you see here today is empty, it's blank. We do have a contract in the system, a singular contract. And we can download a sample to see what one would look like and we can down, um, download a template so we can fill in our own data uh, and build our own schedule of values out. Okay, so I have downloaded both the sample and the template. Let's quickly look at the differences between the two. If I go to my sample, I can see that there is a sample, Div16, that has been filled out. So this is the kind of data we're looking for. Okay, so for training purposes, we're looking at a dummy schedule of values that I just now created. You'll note in the top left-hand corner, there's a yellow box that you can click on under the template uh, section of my spreadsheet. If I click on this drop down here, there's three options, not applicable, 16 division CSI standard and 50 division CSI standard. In this example, I'm going to try and fill up some of these slots here with some data. So I'm gonna choose the 50 division. You can obviously choose the not applicable if it doesn't apply to you and fill out your data as you see fit. Contract number, this number is coming from the contract. It is auto assigned within the system. Um, let's see if I can show you what that looks like. So if I go to the contracts section, it is here. So when, after you create your contract and you want to create a schedule of values, this number is auto-generated. You would assign these schedule of values line items to that contract. If you had parent SOV items, you could fill this in as well. In our base training s system, we're looking at no uh, parent. Um, yeah, you can just fill this stuff out as you see fit just to play with it and learn how it works. The cost code stuff is for futures. You don't need to worry about filling that one in. Uh, the estimated stuff, this is supposed to be for users that created an estimate what they originally thought was going to be. Now that they're in the project and they're starting to put stuff in the system, this is actually what it is. Not mandatory. These are not mandatory fields. You don't have to do the estimated stuff. Just throwing it out there. I called it 1E, 2E, 3E just so I could have something in the system. Okay, so we're going to try and import this now, and uh, we'll see if this proves to be good enough. We'll save it. Just want to make sure it's saved. And let me see if I can drag this over. Uh, there it is. And we'll upload it. Hopefully I don't get any errors. I didn't. Perfect. So I've got three SOV items in my project.